Freedom has a price. It's not free. You have to fight for this freedom. North Korea invaded South Korea on the 25th of June. We didn't have ammunition. Some of us didn't have weapons. Our platoons and our companies were under strength. I had two summer camps, but no boot camp at all. I had no idea what I was getting into. Naturally, you never felt like you were coming back. You thought you were a dead man. And here came the biggest mass of men I ever saw in my life. And they were armed with everything. And I literally, to this day, think the earth was shaking. I mean, it's just like a stampede of buffalo coming around the corner. And it was the Chinese. And we were shooting as fast as we could. I'm not just me, all of us were shooting. And the machine guns were shooting, and the mortars were shooting, and the aircraft were coming in at that time. It was carnage in the valley. If kill 100, another 100 would come up. They just would make mass attacks come right into our machine gun fire. And I remember in a five minute span, I said, they had bodies piled 10 feet high. We fought so hard, we ran out of ammunition. By that time, quite a few of our guys were dead. I took anything I could get, any dead Marine, any Chinaman, uh, use them as a perimeter around my foxhole. When I got to Hellfire Valley on the way out, walking out, you could almost cry seeing those Marines like that. I had a, what we call the uh, Serviceman's Testament given out by the Gideons. I had that with me, and I just opened it up, and I read the fourth verse. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. I pray for the first time in my life. I didn't know where God was. Where's God? So I looked up. I said, God, don't let me die. Not here. I just want to see the sun come up one more day. Just give me another day. <laughs>